Now I'll just read it to you, dear Mr Clarkson. You're going to love this. I'm writing to you on behalf of the world-famous Madame Tussauds. Oh, oh they're God. not going to... Yes, they are. <laughs> are you joking? Yes, they oh, are. Oh, no, wait. They say they... I have been highly requested, highly requested, to be immortalised in wax. Are you sure that doesn't say immersed in wax? <laughs> no, immortalised in wax. How are they going to immortalise you in wax? Where are they going to get all the wax? <laughs> to melt down everything else in Madame Tussauds to make one <laughs> massive, hideous wax dummy <laughs> of a hideous dummy. Then it's easy. They just get a very big candle, they light it, let it drip down the edges for a couple of hours and then just draw a face on it with a felt tip. <laughs> <laughs> that would look a bit like it. And what are they going to do with it when they've got it? Imagine children, we go to Madame Tussauds, we go to... What is it? Ah! <laughs> it's going to be the, the first waxworks in history to be sculpted with a pickaxe. <laughs> yes, and a hammer. Yeah. I want to see them sculpting it, because imagine once they've melted down enough wax, which is a lot, the <laughs> size of the urn, it'll look like a scene from Lord of the Rings, with all these little orcs <laughs> moving around the bottom, they're getting ready for a big paw to create this hideous, hideous, grotesque, enormous thing. How are they going to fit it in? No, don't put it there. Put it in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Better still... Yeah, <laughs> next to the big brontosaur. <laughs> Just a big skeleton. Just a big skeleton next to the brontosaur. Big Tyrannosaurus, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then people can go and watch. Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of bitterness and jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> and my colleagues.